All right, now you see the wind's picking up. We got a little cold front coming by here. You got to come over here to seasoning. Yeah, that's what I've been talking about. All right, hey, we're out here. We're going to cook the perfect chicken. But you know what? There's about a thousand ways to cook a perfect chicken. This is a good, easy, quick way to do it. So here we go. We're going to do a whole one and we are going to do a spatchcock one. First thing we got, we've got this whole chicken right here. What do you want to do with it? Now, if you want to trust it, you can. That takes too much work. We're keeping this simple. Uh, me, personally, I like to cut the wingtips off. They're going to burn. Get rid of them. Why leave something on there we're not going to eat? Now we're going to do a spatchcock one. And why would we want to do a spatchcock? Spatchcocks, really all it is, is a way to flatten it out, make it cook quicker, make it cook more even. Now my preferred method is the spatchcock. We're going to take the backbone, here we got the backbone. We're going to count down the side of it. All right. Went right down the side. Now if I'm going to do a turkey, I'm going to do the turkey the exact same way. This is how I do my Thanksgiving birds right here. That's all right, we'll power through it. Take your knife, trim up some of that fat. Oh, awesome, that's gonna be perfect. Okay, and the other thing is we wanna flatten this out. We've got the breast bone right here. So I lay that down on a turkey, you're gonna have to jump up here and give it a good whack to flatten that out. Now chicken, you can just go ahead and pop that just like that. Now this is something that's super easy. This is something you can do after work. We go through hundreds of millions of rotisserie chickens every year at the grocery stores. Why not just do it yourself at your house? With the spatchcock method, you're gonna only cook it for an hour and a half, right? The other cool things with poultry, take your hand, pull a little bit of that. Boom, right there. What's that good for? Now you can start stuffing your seasonings in there. You can put some lemon wedges in there, put some thyme put some chipotle in there, whatever kind of style you want to do. Again, it's the you factor. Do it how you like it. Gotta have salt. Salt is our flavor enhancer. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit on top, season that skin, give that a good seasoning. I'm gonna pour a little bit in my hand, use my scissors, lift that skin up. Go ahead and get that in there. You notice I got a glove on one hand, bare hand on this hand, that way I can keep things safe. I'm not contaminating anything with a contaminated hand. All right, now you see the wind's picking up. We got a little cold front coming by here. You gotta come over here to seasoning. Yeah, that's what I've been talking about. This is just Camp Chef all purpose seasoning. It's great stuff. Go ahead and get a little coat on there. But you know what? Put the U factor in there. Use whatever seasoning you like to use. I mean, this is where you make it yours, right? It take a little bit longer to do a whole bird and it's gonna cook a little more uneven. That's why I like to do the spatchcock, but a whole bird's great. Different things you can do, you can use a turkey cannon or you can use a beer can chicken. Put that in there. So again, that's kinda of up to you. You make it how you like it, but keep it simple. I tell you what, this rain out here is making it a lot easier to season and it's sticking on there really well. But you know, it doesn't matter what the weather's doing to you. The only thing you're gonna be able to control is the, the cook. I find, for me personally, I don't have to put it on smoke setting. I don't smoke mine beforehand. I'm more about that crispy skin. The way I get that is I'm gonna throw it on at 350 and we're just gonna do the whole cook at 350. I also like to cook on the top shelf. That's my personal preference. I like that airflow that goes all the way around with the top shelf. All right, so we got the spatchcock. One thing cool about spatchcock, you can go ahead and cut it in half if you want to do halves. If I'm doing Cornish game hens and I want to elevate it, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half. If I want to cut the quarter off, I can just go ahead and cut that. Super easy to do or pour the wings off. Let's get these on the grill before this rain washes all the seasoning off. But I'm going to cook them to 165, okay? Big thing that you got to be able to control um, is what that internal temperature is going to be. We're going to go ahead. I got to go get my probes. I didn't bring my probe out. But you can go ahead and put your probe in so you can monitor that. And then I also use an instant read thermometer on top of that. All right, guys, give us a few minutes. It's probably going to take us an hour and a half to get that spatchcock done, about two hours to get the whole chicken done. We'll come back, cut into it, see how we did. It's starting to clear up. 
I got a chicken. I got a chicken. Hey, hey, hey. All right, these bad boys are done. We're ready to dig in. So we got our temperatures, 165 in the white meat, 175 in the dark meat. It's gonna give us the most juicy, best tasting chicken ever. Now, quick tip on chickens. Like Julie and I in our house, we'll just go ahead and cook a whole bunch at once. And uh, we'll cook them the spatchcock method, and then I'll just cut it up and freeze it, and then we'll have chicken sitting in the freezer. So, you know, if you're gonna fire up your smoker, cook a bunch of stuff in it, right? The other thing I'll do as well, if I have my chickens on top, I can do my Dutch oven potatoes underneath, my carrots, my vegetables, anything underneath, we can throw some bread on there. So let's get this thing cut up. See how easy that comes off? There's our quarter. Boom, there's our quarter right there. Look at the juice just run out of that. Awesome. Okay, the wing, come back in here. Find that joint, pop it off. Come down our breast, trim that out. So when we're cutting those breasts, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go right down that bone, breast bone, until I hit the bottom bone. You can feel that. And then just kind of come around and just follow that around. Pull that, grab that little tenderloin in there. Pull that off. Woo! All right, we want to cut this against the grain and we want to give a little piece of skin for everybody. So now I'm just going to cut it this way. We're going to cut the grain against the grain to give us the most tender bite that we can. And plus also, I want everybody to have a little piece of that skin with all that flavor, all that yumminess on there. Is yumminess a word? We're going to say it's a word. Then you go ahead and trim a little bit of that that you missed out. Okay, one thing you can do with all these bones and the backbone that you cut out of that is you can go ahead and throw that in a pot and make it some really awesome grilled stock. All right, let's cut this other one up. One thing good to mention about chicken, it's very economical. It's a great way to feed the family, great way to have a party inexpensively, and it's a great way to get to know your pell grill. If, anybody rec if somebody wants to know what the first thing to cook on their pell grill, I always recommend chicken. You know what, six, six and a half bucks, you're not gonna be so worried about the cook. But if you do that method, it's gonna turn out fabulous. All right, a little, little harder to do the whole. You have to come back in and then come back around that backbone. So we're pulling out the quarters. This is your thigh and your leg. All right, so when you're pulling the wings, all we're gonna do is go ahead, take your thumb in, put it right around that, that uh, joint in there, give it a little pop, they're gonna pop out. And you're gonna have a nice little wing right there. Again, come off your bird, fall down that backbone. Come around the rib cage. Guys, this smells awesome. Flavor smell great. So juicy. Clean that up a little bit. We'll come back and clean some more of that off.